I have shown you village seeds. I have shown you the top five seeds. I have shown you circles of loot. I have shown you five mansion seeds. I have shown you temple seeds. I have shown you igloo seeds. I have shown you villages at spawn, but I have never shown you just a single Minecraft mansion seed. Just one of them. I've never showcased just one of them. So there's a first for everything. Let's check out this mansion that is right near spawn. It is awesome in my opinion. Hey, what's going on guys? Kirby here and today I'm back with another Minecraft seed showcase. This one is a mansion seed. So I haven't uh, shown a ton of these in like single videos, but I wanted to show you this one because it's right actually near spawn. Uh, so this is your spawn location on this little uh, indent into the water here of a plains biome. So that's pretty cool. I mean, this is a, actually a decent spot to build, I think. You got some cool mountains over here, some hills over here, and then uh, this body of water. You could probably clear out the swamp if you really wanted to. But uh, yeah, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to travel this way. Uh, you don't have to travel this way. You can travel straight to the coordinates. But if you struggle with coordinates like I do, <laughs> you can uh, just go this way. You can travel south to Z542. And this is just right through the swamp here. Uh, very quick, easy travel to this location. So it's right here. And then you can go ahead and travel west to X negative 400. So just along this river right here, just follow this river and you will come across a mansion. So that is a very easy travel. It's a very easy to get here. So again, the coordinates are X negative 400 and Z 542. As you can see, this is of course three stories and uh, the third story is pretty small once you uh, actually go in there to look at it. Let's uh, go ahead and take a look at this mansion. Uh, I believe the yeah the entrance is right over here. So before we actually go in, I want to show you that uh, this little this little cave system thing. Well, it actually does lead to a cave, <laughs> an actual underground cave. So as you can see, uh, it leads right down to here. So that's pretty cool. Um, just wanted to make note of that for you guys real quick and show you that. And then if we head in, let's just go ahead and do a quick fly through of the mansion see what we have so this side only has one looks like a little sapling rim here and we actually have a tree growing through the mansion so that's interesting um, a couple of rooms here some of these little jailhouse rooms so uh, those are there <laughs> more of those another one of those uh, it doesn't look like there's any rooms down this way and that would mean that these two, these are like uh, the pumpkin rooms and melons. Okay, so that is the first floor. Let's go ahead and check out the second floor now. Just do another quick fly through of that. See what kind of rooms we have here. So that is a small side there. <laughs> Nothing too crazy over here. Okay. Okay. There's the stairs to the third floor. And... We have one of those. Let's check out that in a second. All right, let's go ahead and go into this little arena room. I don't know what these are formally called, but uh, we have disc C41813 and then uh, some food and just some random stuff there. And all right, so that looks about what the second floor is. And finally, the third floor is just one room, actually, because if you look through here, Oh, wrong side. Um, I guess it would, I don't know where it would technically, yeah. If you look through here, it's just uh, kind of some pillar type things. So uh, yeah, that's this is the only room up on the third floor. And some two chainmail armor. So that's pretty cool. You actually get two chainmail armor here. So that is really interesting. Of course, this is the main purpose of the seed. This is what I really wanted to show you guys, that this mansion is really close to spawn. However, I'm not just going to leave you with that. I'm going to leave you with three more villages. <laughs> so the next location you can travel to, you can go ahead and travel west to negative 763, x negative 763. And once you get there, you can travel to z 
141, and that will be north. And this is going to bring us to a little um, village. This village doesn't have a blacksmith or anything, but uh, that's all right. That's all right. It does have a church. We can check out the cleric. And I've always, I just thought this was interesting. If you're walking down this pathway, you kind of better be careful because, uh, well, that can happen. <laughs> but uh, I just thought that was just funny looking. Let's go ahead and just look at this cleric. I don't know. I just always like looking at the clerics. 37. Okay. And then, of course, you have some farms. And uh, that's about what this village offers you. So there's the first village. we got two more villages. So let's go ahead and travel there. We're going to actually travel west to negative 1,346. And, of course, that is the X coordinate. And we are going to travel to... Z357, and that would be south. So you're actually going to travel southwest to those um, locations, the, those coordinates. And this is actually going to bring us here, and this is a, a double ravine. Of course, you have some more cave systems off of it too, if you would like to check those out. But the double ravine is what I really want to show you because this is just awesome. I just really think this is interesting. So this is kind of the open ravine. This is the one that you can see everything. Of course, these this water and stuff looks pretty cool. But this here is the second ravine. Of course, it cuts right through the, the other ravine and then leads into a little cave here. And yeah, um, I don't know. I just think that's really cool. And um, just something I really wanted to show you. Of course, you can get a lot of uh, a lot of loot from these, a lot of ores. So you can uh, check that out. I mean, look how much coal is just right here. There's a little pocket of four right there, probably more than four. Yeah, you can see it goes back. But look at all of that coal right there. So it definitely is great for, you know, mining and stuff, um, getting some ores. And then our village is actually going to be right over the top of this little mountain here. And this, there's actually another ravine right off this village. So that's three, well, four technically because it's a double ravine. Four ravines that we've seen in this video. This is the village, like I just said. This village does have a blacksmith. And then our other village is right over there. That's our final village. So let's just go ahead and go to the blacksmith here. The coordinates to this village are negative x negative 1547. Z268. So we got some iron armor, some iron, some apples, and gold. And that's all we're going to check out here. Of course, uh, you can do whatever you want with the farms. There's quite a few farms here. Do whatever you want with the villagers, too. <laughs> and then finally, this is our last location. This is the, uh, the third village of the video. Right over there, easy, quick travel. Coordinates of this are X negative 1704. Z 285. Let's just go ahead and check out the cleric. I just I just like checking out the cleric <laughs> just to compare them. That one's 38. So the first the first cleric was a little bit better <laughs> of trading uh trading zombie flesh. Just just one zombie flesh better. <laughs> and let's go ahead and check out this blacksmith. So we got some more iron, some more iron gear and another apple. So nothing like too crazy in terms of loot. But I mean, you got three villages, and I mean, you got the villagers, the farms, and whatnot, so that is pretty cool. And of course, you got the ravines. And you have the mansion, and of course, the mansion is what I wanted to show you most. I mean, that's the main point of this video. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so that is this seed. That is, um, that's, that's what you get. That's that's the that's the seed. <laughs> a mansion really close to spawn, so that is pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching. And um if you're looking for a, a seed with a mansion really close to spawn, well, this could be what you're looking for. Alrighty guys, that's gonna do it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm out of here. See ya.